guys, thanks for joining me. I've seen a few of these kinds of pouring things on Instagram and I've been dying to give it a try myself. So that's what I'm going to be experimenting with today. First, I'm going to do a quick swipe just so that we have some kind of a background to work with. My white base color is mixed four parts paint to eight parts Floetrol to one part water plus one drop of silicon. To swipe, I'm using ivory black paint, which is mixed four parts paint to eight parts Floetrol to three parts water. This black is a thinner consistency than the paint already on the canvas and it doesn't contain any silicon. I'm using a piece of plastic that I cut out from the plastic that the canvas came packaged in to swipe. I like swiping with this because it grabs hold of the paint well and I like being able to see what's going on through the plastic. And given that I was already going to throw the packaging away, I like that I'm not creating any extra waste as well. With the painting dry, I want to clean off the silicone a bit. To do that, I'm mixing some dish soap in warm water and using that to gently wipe the canvas down. Because the painting has only dried for a week and hasn't fully cured yet, I'm wiping the canvas very gently, otherwise if I rub too hard I'll start removing the paint as well. Now I'm wiping the soapy water off with some plain warm water. I gave the painting a little bit of time to dry off after cleaning it and now I'm just adding an ivory black border. Okay, now for the experimental part. I noticed most people seem to use what looks like a dustpan to do this. I don't have anything like that on hand, so I thought I'd try a paper plate cut in half. This paper plate feels, I would say, more plasticky than papery, so I think the paint should slide off fairly easily. For paint consistency, I'm thinking it might be better for the paints to be on the thicker side so that they retain the pattern well and don't mix too much with one another as I'm pouring them off. So I'm trying paints that are mixed one part paint to two parts Floetrol. As you're doing this part, I'd recommend working on a level surface. 
I only realized after I started pouring the paint on that the surface wasn't level and was starting to distort the circular pattern, which is why I'm holding the plates up a little bit on one side. I'm not sure how much paint I need to use, so for today I'm going to err on the side of having too much paint rather than too little. Okay, now for the moment I've been waiting for. Well, it seems to be working, which is very exciting. The only thing that's making me nervous is whether I actually have enough paint to make it all the way across the canvas. Um, so I'm trying to stretch it out a little bit. Definitely not the most beautiful painting ever, but it was fun giving it a try. I was happy with the paint consistency and I think I would be a little bit more creative as I pour the paints onto the canvas next time. What made it a bit tricky this time was thinking I was running out of paint. Um, and then I also just need to develop a better feel for how much paint I need to use. Anyway, Thanks so much for joining me, if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.